Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to look at um, making a total using the least number of coins, which is a continuation of the lesson that we started last week. Okay, everybody, will you turn to page 132 in your Jump Math book and you can work along with me. Okay, everybody, look at the top of page 132. You will see question number eight. Question number eight has a chart that looks just like this. And this chart has four columns. Let's take a look at the headings in each column. The first heading says total amount. And within this column, you will see different amounts that you will have to make. The second column says amount you could pay in quarters. And this is a lesson we did last Thursday when you were, you were doing um, using quarters, um, as many quarters as you can to make an amount. Okay, today we're just continuing that lesson. This column says amount remaining because we are going to find out the coins that we still need to make the total amount. And then coins, of course, is where we can draw the number of coins that we need. All right, let's take a look at how to do it. You can work along with me. I'm not going to use the same examples that are in your book so that I will show you how to do it and you can apply what you learned today. Okay, everybody, let's say that as a total amount, I want to make 70 cents. Well, I have to ask myself, how many quarters can I use to make 70 cents? Because when I want to use the least number of coins, I go and order from my largest coin first. And in this case, we're starting with 25, then 10, then 5, then 1. Always start with your largest number coin first when you're finding out the least number of coins. Okay, so for 70 cents, I know I can use at least one quarter. That's 25. I can use another quarter. That's 50. But if I use another quarter, what's going to happen? If you said I'm going to go too high, you're right. I can't use any more quarters to make 70 cents. I can only use two. Now I want to find out the amount remaining. So I'm going to take my 70 cents and subtract the 50 cents in quarters that I was able to use. What does that equal? 50 cents, mi 70 cents minus 50 cents equals... If you said 20 cents, you were correct. What coins can I use to make 20 cents? I know it's not a quarter. What will I use next? That's right. Two dimes will make 20 cents. Okay, so now I have 50. So I would use two quarters, 60, 70, and there's my total amount. All right, let's take a look at another example. What if I want to make 85 cents? Again, how many quarters can I use to make 85 cents? Well, definitely one. That's 25. Two is 50. Can I go higher? Sure I can. 75 cents. If I go higher, what's going to happen? That amount will be 100 cents and it's too high. 25, 50, 75. Right now I have 75 cents and you would write down the total amount in numbers that you can use in quarters. But I want to find my amount remaining. I'm not at 85 cents yet. So I have to go 85 cents, take away 75 cents equals. What does that equal? What's the difference between 85 cents and 75 cents? Well, if I want to do it another way, I can. I know I can't use any more quarters, but can I use a dime? Let's find out. 75, 85. Look at that. I reached my total. So the difference is 10 cents. See? In this question, I did the subtraction and drew the coins. In this one, I drew the coins and then I wrote the answer to the subtraction. Either way, both are correct. Okay, let's take a look at another example. What if I want to make 27 cents? How many quarters can I use? Well, to start, I can definitely use one, but if I add another, I'll be too high. So just one. So then I do my calculation. I do my first number first, 27, take away 25 cents. Well, division 10, what is the difference between 27 and 25? I can put 25 in my head and count up to 27. 26, 27, two cents. Well, how do I make two cents, division 10? One, two. All right. What if I wanted to make 35 cents as an example? I know I can definitely use one quarter. Can I use two? No, I can't. That's it. So then I go 35 cents taking my first number, take away the 25 cents that I made in quarters. What's the difference? Okay, I can put 25 cents in my head. I know I can't do any more quarters. I'm going to go to my dimes. 25, 35.
five. I made my total already. The answer is 10 cents. All right. Final example. What if I want to make 42 cents? Well, I know I can start with a quarter, but can I do a second? That'll put me at 50 cents. I'm too high. So 42 cents take away 25 cents equals. Well, let's count on. 25. Now I can't do any more 25, so I'm going to use dimes. 35. Can I do another dime? Well, that would put me at 45 cents, and that's too high. I got to go to my least, my next um, highest coin. I'll use a nickel. 25, 35, 40. Now, if I use another nickel, I'm too high again. I have to go to my pennies. 41, 42. So division 10, when you're doing question number eight, fill in the chart, going across each row, looking at your total amount, finding out how many quarters that you could use, and you want to write the amount. So I did 25, oops, oops, sorry, 25 cents there, 25 cents here, and 25 cents here. Okay? Then you subtract 10, 15, 16, 17 cents, and you can write your coins here. Okay? That's question number eight. Total amount, find the number of quarters, subtract it from your total, draw the remaining coins. For questions 9 and 10, Division 10, it's the same idea but without the chart. You can see here that I put the order that you'll go in to use the least number of coins because that's our goal today. We know from our activity on Friday, there's many, many, many ways to make an amount. We want to find the least number of coins. So say I start with 55 or I want to make 55 cents. I'm going to start with my highest coin, a quarter. One quarter is 25 cents. Can I add another without going too high? Yes, I can. So now I'm at 50 cents. Can I add another quarter? No, I can't. So I'm going to use the next highest coin. So 25, 50, 60. Whoa, that goes too high. I have to go to my next highest coin, which is 5 cents. Let's see what we get. 25, 50, 55 cents. We did it. Okay, and we used the least number of coins. To make 55 cents, there's many other ways to do it. But to do the least number of coins, I have to go in order from my highest to my least highest coin. To make 60 cents, I can start with definitely a quarter. That's 25 cents, and I've got a long way to go. I can use another quarter. Now I'm at 50 cents. I know I can't use another quarter. Let's go to my dimes. 25, 50, 60. Yeah, we made it already. Two quarters and a dime will make 60 cents, and that's the least number of coins to make that total. Let's do one more, 80 cents. I can do 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, can't use this anymore. Can I use a dime? That would put me at 85 cents, that's too high. How about a nickel? 25, 50, 75, 80, we made our total. But you know what? There's times where you're going to need to make larger amounts that are over 100 cents. Then we have to bring in the loony, 100 cents. So we always start with our largest coin. 135 cents, I see a one there, so I know I can use the loony. I'm gonna draw it, 100 cents. Guess what? Now I only have to make 35 cents. I can't use another loony, that'll put me at 200 cents. Let's use a quarter. Now I'm at 125 cents. Oh, I'm very close to 135 cents, but I can't use another quarter. I have to go to my dimes. 100, 125, 135 cents. We did it. Okay, we just have two more as examples and then you're gonna do the page on your own. I see a one, we have a 100 there. I can use a loony. Can't use it anymore, that'll put me too high. Next highest coin is a quarter. We'll start with one, that's 125. Can I add another before I go too high? Sure I can. So now I'm at 150 cents. Can I add another quarter? Nope, that would be too high. Let's go to a dime. So now I'm at 160 cents. I can't add another dime. That'll put me too high. Let's go to the next coin. We'll do a nickel. Let's see what we got. 100, 125, 150, 160, 165. We did it. Using this order is a great help when you're making the least number of coins, which is our job today. 
185 cents is our last example. I know there's a hundred there. I'm going to draw my loony. Then I can add some quarters. 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents. I'm so close. I can't do any more quarters. I'm going to go to my next lowest, which is a dime. 100, 125, 150, 175 cents, 185 cents. We did it, everybody. So when you're doing the least number of coins, please just go in order from your highest coin to your lowest coin, and you'll have no problem finding the least or the fewest number of coins to make that total. Okay, everybody, do page 132 and post it to your journal today. Thank you.